Hey, hey. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Here we are. Welcome to GZR Ground Zero Radio. Happy Monday, everybody. Happy That's right. Monday. That's right. It's time to start off the week with two hours of original music right here in the studio. We've got um, some live guests tonight that are going to be playing some live songs for you. All originals. All originals. That's what we do. And... Mike Karen, would you tell us what's in the news? Well, we have a double header today, July 17th. Happy World Emoji Day and National Tattoo Day. Just <laughs> as a public service announcement. <laughs> I have please, none. Please don't confuse them and <laughs> combine the two. You'll totally regret it, says the guy with the big smiley face on his backside. Okay. That's not me. But you know who you are. Prove it. Bob. Okay. <laughs> Back in um, 1968, the Beatles' fourth film, The Yellow Submarine, premieres in London. Fun fact, the characters are voiced by actors, not by the actual band members, until the last scene when the band makes a cameo leading um, the movie audiences in singing all together now. Can't help it. I'm a born Liverpooler. Okay. Um, <laughs> that, you know, okay, I have to stop you right there because that was one of those movies I didn't get. Maybe I was just too little. But I couldn't wait for it to end. When it yeah, out. it was a little creepy uh, it's if just you were strange. not altered, and we were <laughs> way too young to be altered. Apparently. Okay. Yeah. So, right, sorry. Um, some notable birthdays today. Happy birthday to Luke Bryant. Hey. All right, Luke. Uh, Luke. Also, triple platinum award-winning musician, David Hasselhoff. Wow. <laughs> He's big. Dun, 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 dun. He's yeah, huge. In Europe, dun, 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 triple platinum. He, he is. is huge. And yep. also, big, huge... <laughs> Rock star god, Geezer Butler. Happy birthday, Geezer. Right on, Geezer. I Give me a call, there. brother. I know, okay. right? And then uh, early happy birthday this Wednesday. Happy birthday goes out to Queen guitarist and astrophysicist Brian May. Wow. Astrophysicist. Absolutely. So, I, is that true? Yeah. Okay. That's it, awesome. Right. Sure is. We have a caller. You keep telling us the uh, news. Okay. I'm going to uh, grab this okay. phone. And. Here's a, so, uh, here's a sampling of local happenings this week. Um, Tuesday, Kayla Kramer is hosting a songwriter showcase at Campus Jacks, 5.30. Also, uh, Costa Mesa Concerts in the Park is going to be happening this Tuesday also. And Orange County Writers Round will be doing their Nashville-style Writers Round at Neat Coffee at 7 p.m. That's awesome. This Wednesday, we got Smokey Robinson at the Pacific Camp. Chloe Gallardo is going to be playing at the Wayfair, friend of the show. That's Chloe. right. Yep. All right, and Chloe. Also, um, same night, Paramore is going to be playing with Foles, band out of the U.K. that my friend Sarah told me about several years ago. Interesting. Um, but Paramore and the Foles will be playing at the Kia Forum both Wednesday and Thursday night. Wow. Thursday, um, at Five Points Amphitheater, we got Disturbed is going to be in town. And then Saturday, Coyote Moon will be hosting a songwriter showcase at the Harp Inn from 3 to 6 p.m. Then Sunday, more friends of the show, Liquid Circus, and we'll be playing with Y&T at the Coach House. And coming up at 11 a.m. on July 29th, the All Abilities Musical Celebration is happening at the Circus Room Center for the Arts at the That's a good place. Argyros Plaza. Sorry if I said that wrong. And tickets are free. Nice. And that's the news of the week. All right. Well Dun, done, da. Mr. Karen. Hey, guess what? We have a caller. This is Lisa Schultz. That was quick. Oh. From the Costa Mesa Foundation. She's going to tell us all about the concerts in the park. Hey, Lisa, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Thanks so much for having me on your news hour. Oh, you're always welcome here, Lisa. Yep. Thank you so much. I just wanted to tell you guys about the upcoming concert we have tomorrow, the pre-show for the family and the kids all starts at five o'clock and at six o'clock our live music begins and we're having a tribute band tomorrow it's a santana tribute band called savor and incidentally there's eight band members that are going to be there <laughs> awesome. so it's going to be quite a show mm -hmm. and we usually have uh, between two and three thousand attendees if you'll grab your beach chairs and your blankets and maybe ride your bike over or carpool or Uber. You know, uh, it's parking is pretty limited, but it's really a fun day in the park, and we have a, a great setup. We have food trucks there and games for the kids, and our sponsor booths are all there, people that help us put on these free live music concerts for the community. 
And I just wanted to also mention that any of the money that we uh, acquire, that we make at our beer and wine garden, goes towards the, the Costa Mesa Foundation's grant program, where we support other nonprofits, the arts, music, uh, teachers. So we really support the community with our grants program. And come on out and come thirsty. Come by the beer and wine garden. Get your dancing shoes on or come barefoot and mm-hmm. get out there and enjoy this, this live music, this free live music with us tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Lisa. We're looking forward to it. We're going to be out there. There's a KOCI booth. So li- stop by and say hi to us. And uh, we'd love to meet you. We'd love to shake your hand and talk radio, talk music. And sure will. I hope awesome. to be able to do a music program one day over there at KOCI. But I'll come by your booth and I'll hope to see a bunch of our local community people there. I'll be the MC tomorrow, so I'll be talking about KOCI from the stage, as well as some of our other sponsors that we are so happy to have, CJ Seegerstrom and Sons. We have, oh, that wonderful Descanso restaurant. They're uh, helping serve our volunteers. Because we, you know what, there are only nine of us on the Coast of Mountain. Costa Mesa Foundation board right now and we help present this concert. We start in January and get this stuff together and present this free for the community. And we have these volunteers that come out and help us set up for the concerts and help us tear it down. And so we have these great sponsors that come in and help us feed our volunteers. And it's just really a great community event. And I hope that you all will come out. You put a lot of time and effort into this. Look at that. Six months of planning and getting ready for this event. And it's all for a good cause because this is a nonprofit event. So the any any income that is made from the event, it goes directly into the um, pockets or the wallets other, if non-profit you will. other non-profits that's exactly exactly to help them to fund them to keep them going keep them alive as well and koci greatly appreciates what you do and all your efforts and we will see you there okay thanks so much see you soon thank you lisa thank bye, you lisa. bye-bye bye okay bye-bye all right, Lisa Schultz giving us the info from the Costa Mesa Foundation's Concerts in the Park tomorrow night. I do believe you can, you know, if you show up around 5 o'clock, things are starting to kick into gear. Um, 6 p.m. it's really happening, and then there's live music on the, uh, the main stage, and there's plenty of things to do for the entire family. Family-friendly event that uh, ultimately goes to support other nonprofits in this local area. So that's cool. Yeah, I was going to mention that Mike and I went last week, and we had a great time. Music was fantastic. Parking, by the way, was easy. Oh, you know, good. We, yeah, we thought there was going to be, any, but there was plenty of parking. And the police did a great job directing Fantastic traffic. Job. It was very smooth. Very smooth. Very pleasant. Yeah. That is even, good Even to getting know. out of there, too, was really smooth. It was smooth. very easy getting in and out. We had a great time, and... Uh, Food was fantastic. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a great event. Super. Good to know. Yeah. That's really good to know. Yep. So in the studio tonight, we have the one and only Mike Teague. Hello, Mike Teague. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Hey, Mike. How's it going? It's going very well. Thank you. So I understand that since your debut EP, EP or not? It's a full-length CD, right? Of Waterfall. Six years ago. Six years ago. Yeah, it's nothing. You have, <laughs> <laughs> and so you have been busy, 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 um, writing new songs and getting mm-hmm. them ready for another album release. Yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to write. You know, put on either do EP or a full, but one of those. Yeah, one of those. One of those. Definitely. Yeah. Um, awesome. And mm-hmm. so tonight you're bringing us those original songs. Yeah, some original stuff, yeah. Yep, in between uh, Babysit and grand, grand, Grandson. We're, we, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the part of your bio that talks about, well, there's two parts of your bio that I love. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is, one, your family history and music. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Um, my father was a New Christy minstrel back in the 60s, a, a pretty popular folk group back oh, then. Oh, yeah. And uh, played with them 65, 66. And um, so always had music around the house. And so it, you know, it was it was definitely a, a blessing to have, have, have him in, you know, in my life as far as, you know, with the music and everything. So, yeah, it was good. So, yeah, I'm an old folky at heart, that's for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. The other part of your resume is that you were a um, dog catcher. Yes. The yeah. singing dog catcher. The singing catcher. dog catcher, yeah. I did. Yeah, uh, <laughs> actually for the Newport Beach Police Department for 24 years. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. So, yeah. here, puppy, puppy, come <laughs> exactly. here, puppy, puppy, yeah. or something like that? Most of them would run after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He probably sang Hound Dog, I would yeah. think. <laughs> or Who Let the Dogs Out. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. That's, Puppy love, yeah. Right. I'm just visualizing that. I think it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You probably did sing, though, to calm them down. Um, no. No? No. No. Maybe the sea lions or seals and oh. know, that kind of stuff, yeah. But, yeah, cool. the dogs, you know, they, they'd outbark me anytime. <laughs> Water dogs. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, Mike. So thank you for coming in tonight. Yeah. Well, thank you for inviting me. I, you know, I know that uh, you know Mr. David Starr was supposed to be here tonight, and uh, I'm sorry that he was not able to make it. But uh, I do have his hat on. Uh, Starr's he guitars does. there in Cedar Edge, Colorado, and um, maybe he can make it next time. But I appreciate the opportunity to come in and play. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I so I, I it's really cool. I do hope I know I know David Starr. We'll, he'll let us know when he's back here, mm -hmm. and we'll make it happen, and we'll have him on the show. Um, he's got some interesting stories of working mm -hmm. with um, the band member from Hall and Oates, yep. and uh, not, all, but just not just that. He he is quite the storyteller. Mm -hmm. Storyteller. Mm -hmm. That was a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike Teague really. is absolutely the perfect person. <laughs> To fill the spot tonight <laughs> for several reasons. Mike Teague also is a phenomenal storyteller and he has um, he has a really relaxed vibe. I, I think our listening audience is going to thoroughly enjoy your vibe. I know that I do. And also, you know, you are there's no one there's no one else to fill the space tonight for david star but mike t oh well that yeah that's um there you go yeah. that's, <laughs> that's the endorsement right there that's the endorsement <laughs> but that but that's a genuine yeah. endorsement well yeah well we've known each other for a while and and i appreciate uh you being very kind in your words so you betcha so tell us what you're going to share first i've got a list here that says like Coming well, I like home. coming home or coming home. I haven't decided whether we're going to do that, but it was a co-write with a um, um, uh, Joelle Einerson. She lives in uh, Idaho and met her through uh, a songwriting group called Song Chasers out of Nashville. Yeah. And so it's really, really a great group, and I've, I've been able to co-write with some folks, and I do a couple of songs tonight with uh, another co-write. And, um, so, and this is just a song about uh, kind of like uh, our our love for our spouses basically and meeting them you know kind of a story about meeting them the first time and all that kind of stuff so Aww. you know it may not be you know you know songs that could be true but the sentiment is you know is true so anyway coming Let's home I was let's out. check it out time I saw you Sitting at the table Dinner for two I remember wanting To stay forever There with you It was all brand new But it felt like coming home First time I held you I couldn't breathe 
but I knew I wanted every day to be with you to be with you it was all brand new but it felt like coming home it was all brand new but it felt like coming home we take so many roads and try to find our way and in a single moment hearts are swept away and we find ourselves in love a blessing from above hand in hand like coming home like coming home first time that I knew I grow a little older right next to you I recall your smile and it takes me back for a while it was all brand new but it felt like coming home it was all brand new but it felt like coming home Yes, it's still brand new And it feels like coming home Nice, wonderful. Are you ready? Are you ready for Beautiful. Mike Teague? Perfect <laughs> song to start with. This is Mike Teague's vibe. So smooth and relaxing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I love what you do. I love Thank your you. stories. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank yeah. You. So you've spent quite a bit of time over in Hawaii, I've noticed. Um, yes, yes. I was, we were discussing prior to the show uh, we got married in Maui in 86 we just celebrated our 37th and um, congratulations yeah, yeah. <laughs> 37. that's 37. awesome yeah so uh, we would go to Maui every now and then we had we had kids like a year started having kids a year after you know so when we try to go to Maui and you know grandparents would watch and uh, and then we found Kauai and mm -hmm. uh, and you the know, Garden Island. The Garden Isle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's just, um, it just feels great. We've got some great friends that we've met over there. And um, actually went over there and found a, a, a Kauai Songwriter Festival. Hmm. And, and went over there a couple of times for that. And But now it's, you know, it's my wife's happy place for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's great. I know. Like, I, it feels like every time that I check in with you, like, hey, Mike, what are you doing? What are you up to? <laughs> uh, there's a, a message back from you from Hawaii, one of the islands. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if we can get over there. But now my, my daughter lives in Japan. And wow, uh, she and her husband are about to have a baby in October. So we're going to be going over to Japan a little bit more because we're going to have another, you know, another grandchild. So, Wow. Have you been there before? Yes, yeah, yeah, we've both been there, and uh, not since she's been married, but um, they were able to come out here, you know, after COVID was done. We met them in Kauai, actually, and then they came here for a few weeks, so, yeah. From Japan to yeah, Kauai. Yeah, from Japan, yeah. It was rough. <laughs> and that's cool. Yeah, yeah. rough. Yeah. <laughs> How awesome. Beautiful family that you have, too, by the way. I'm very blessed, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, my Teague, what's up i've got song number two listed as i'm on to you yes this is a song this is a jazz song um and it basically is i was reading a book by a, a woman named jody bacalt and uh, called smaller great things very very good good book and um she uh, had written a line it was uh, 
it, the woman was dealing with her son who had come in late and he was lying to her and her line in there she says are you going to stand there soaking wet and tell me it's not raining <laughs> <laughs> so I thought nice. I'm going to write that down so, yeah. Yeah, right. I don't know if I, you know, there's a, any kind of issues with that but anyway great line so I thought okay I got to make something so it ended up being a, a jazz tune it can be you know a woman with a, you know, a husband who's being a little not uh, nice. I mean? it could be either way it could be right. woman or man or it doesn't matter so mm-hmm. anyway so it's just a little jazz tune Cool. All right. Are you going to stand there soaking wet and tell me it's not raining? You can look me in the eyes, tell me little lies. I might have fallen for them years ago I'm a little wiser, you should know I'm on to you I could hear your squeaky shoes Coming through the door You've been out again all night Something isn't right I guess you think I'll always be the fool You play this game, it's time to change the rules Cause I'm on to you I'm sure you got an alibi that's bulletproof Behind the pretty smile there's an element of truth What can you say or do? Now that I'm on to you I might have fallen for it years ago I'm a little wiser now You should know I'm on stand there soaking wet and tell me it's not raining hey hey All right. mike taking the studio hey mike i dig that tune yeah it was wonderful Thanks. i think i think i heard you play that with dan krikorian mm-hmm. uh, yeah at the den i yeah. love the on to you on to <laughs> you i love that yeah yeah, it just makes you want to, like, you know, I don't know, Frank Sinatra over there in the corner, like having a, you know, whiskey or something. <laughs> I like that. Awesome. I like that um, you continue to surprise me because it's not, uh, you. On, I'm on to you is a perfect example of how you've done something different with the song in the rhythm and and how you're approaching the lyric and the chord progression. Um. So. I'll let you in on a secret. I don't know what I'm doing. So. Whatever. <laughs> you. I know you've said that to me before. See, I get a front I row. Wish- I get a front row seat here, so I'm watching these chord changes. And I'm going, oh boy, here we go. This is stuff that's you I know. I can't tell you what the chords are though. <laughs> <laughs> We are enjoying you, and yeah, thank you for just being unique. Well, I, I appreciate it. I thank you. Thank you for uh, allowing me to play my music. Well, yeah, of course. We always got to have Mike Teague in the studio, <laughs> and we got to coax David Starr. Yeah, we got to get David. Back we got to coax him back here yeah. again for a longer stay. Yep. More more gigs for him, and in the studio for him as well. Yeah. And. Um, all right. What you got, Forrest? For, well, Forrest? This is, this is Forrest. Well, never, nobody's ever called me Forrest. Um, <laughs> they probably won't again. Yeah. Unless we started something here. <laughs> yeah, so 
Force for the Teague. That is um, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do a co-write with a gal named Michaela Compton. Oh, great. Yeah. We knew this was coming. What? We wrote this back in 2018. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brand. I was brand, brand, brand new in town. Yeah, just gotten here. Yeah. 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 And uh, it was, you know, it was very cool. How did did we, I forgot where we met. Campus Jacks. Oh, was it Campus Jacks? Yep. Yep. Okay. Because that's the first place I went to, and that's how I know the people that I still know huh. from that. <laughs> and it was their it was their opening night. It was their opening songwriter night. Oh, okay. I just happened to move here. Just happened to be the opening night. Just happened to be two blocks from my apartment, right. and that's how. Huh. Yay! Yeah, you know, we just said, "Hi, let's write a song." Hi. Okay. okay. Let's do it. <laughs> so, I th- we um, I, I don't know how we came up with this, but uh, "Baby, When You Coming Home," and it's just kind of a, you know. Uh, just a, I guess you'll hear. That's fun. Mm-hmm. I I do hope it lands on your next EP or CD. <laughs> well, now it has to. <laughs> that was a strong hint if I've ever heard yeah. one. <laughs> awesome. So do you have plans for where you're going to record this next CD and when you're going to launch it? You know, I've got a studio at home. Mm-hmm. And because it's, you know, it's pretty much just an acoustic guitar, I thought about you know doing a full production like the other one. And I think I'd just like to keep it pretty simple. 
Cool. And, uh, you know, maybe throw a little bit, a couple things here on there, some maybe some pads of some music or something like that, or cello or something, make mm-hmm. something simple, um, which can be done, you know, with you know, virtual instruments, which there's some that are awesome. And um, so, yeah, it's it, it'll be slow going, but that's the whole idea is to try and get something up there. So, in fact, the next song is, is a kind of a location song, which I've never been to this particular place, but um, I've got other songs that are about certain places, like yeah. uh, Charleston, South Carolina, mm-hmm. um, Tennessee. Um, and this next one is called Hot Augusta. So, you're saying you've never been to Augusta, never Georgia? Never been to Augusta, Georgia. I've got a lot of family history in uh, Marietta. Mm hmm. But um, I had never gone to Augusta, you know, around it, South Carolina, you know, you know, born in Tennessee. So, um, you know, all about <laughs> you are, you know, very well all about the southern heat and oh, humidity. Yeah. That's exactly what this was. Yeah. So, yeah. And it was just about, um, I think the first part was just thinking about, you know, August has no holidays. So, oh, um, no, it so doesn't. I, I'm just trying to give it some. Give, give, it, give some props. Just give it give some. I've never even thought about props. that before. <laughs> August is God. I missed something. That. August needs some props. Right. So, <laughs> huh. so I'm going to give, and maybe Augusta as well. So, <laughs> you know, especially if you're a golfer. Yeah. So, and then it is kind of this, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of bluesy ish uh, thingy going on. So. But it's called Hot Augusta. There's something about a month without a holiday. Not much occurs in a hot August way. Soaking wet without a drop of rain and all this. Humidity can drive a man insane. Humidity can drive a man insane. Out on the front porch, the cooler's out again. Everyone's gone home and now the ceiling fans, my friend. Pour a glass of lemonade. Waiting for the night Ice cubes melted faster than a metal lock in flight Melted faster than a metal lock in flight Your southern charm can only last so long Savannah is rolling by, but I'm warm and all alone in hot Augusta. The sun is finally down, but the temperature is the same. Mosquitoes start to circle, calling me by name. Citronella rings are burning with no place left to hide I've got the windows open, but it's still too hot inside Windows are open, it's still too hot inside Your southern charm can only last so long Savannah is rolling by, but I'm warm and all alone in hot Augusta.
I'm thinking Time for bed Although it's like an oven I've got to rest my head Trying to close my eyes And all I feel is heat Within a minute of lying down I'm sticking to the sheets Within a minute I'm sticking to the sheets Your southern charm can only last so long That cool savannah is rolling by But I'm warm and all alone Your southern charm can only last so long That cool savannah is rolling by But I'm warm and all alone in hot Augusta Wow. I'm going to tell you what. Okay, so here's the thing is painting pictures. This is what I'm seeing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, your music took me into a different place. Oh, cool. well, I used to go to Tupelo, Mississippi mm -hmm. uh, on the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, during uh, holiday, because my stepfather was uh, born in Tupelo, mm. <clears throat> so we go back there all the time. But you didn't come see me. I know, right? Yeah. Well, I was a little kid. Oh, okay. That was a long way yeah, in the back. Wasn't I wasn't yet. born yet. Yeah, you probably weren't. In the back of a Grand Torino, all right? Shooting across all mm -hmm. the way. There. But anyways, back to your song. So uh, the visual that I had was being in Tupelo on a front porch mm -hmm. and fireflies. Mm -hmm. You know, it just took me right there. Yeah, this could definitely it's, be any place in the yeah, south. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> in, yeah. In, in South Orange yeah, County. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I don't know. The mosquitoes though are worth mentioning. Wow. Yeah. No, yeah. your chord progressions are are that stunning on that song. The ones you don't I, know that you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's an it, E thirteen. <laughs> okay. They call that. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually honestly. That is a stunning chord progression. It, I just was falling in love with it and simple, following though, you. But it's so simple. Yeah. Okay, really Mike. Really okay. Is. Well, ask the guitarist. <laughs> you can see. That's yeah. Pretty simple. Well, you know, that's the thing. I'm so lucky because they get, like I mentioned earlier, I get a front row seat to concerts right. here every Monday night. I know. Isn't it you know? nice? And that's so very it's a very inspiring for me to, to see the yeah. chords that people pop into, especially you. I mean, and the picking. You know, your hand picking with the right hand is just uh, awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. And cool. so you were either moving to I don't a diminished or a minor in in there, and I thought that was just a, a, an excellent flavor to add to what you were singing about this hot Augusta, um, because because yeah. It kind of a. It's, it's, it's on the darker side it, music wise. Exactly. But not overly. But dark. not overly. Yeah, yeah, right. It was only hints. Yeah. Hints. Yeah. Beautiful chord, chord progression. I love that song, Mike. Absolutely. Bravo. Yes. Living yeah. on a whirlwind. Scores. We're scoring 10. Yeah. <laughs> How are we doing on All time? Tens. Are we doing on time okay? We're oh, doing yeah. on time okay. Uh, you're not going anywhere. So. I was kidding. <laughs> well, let's try not to do, you know, too many, you know, slow songs. But, the, um, you know. I'll 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 spice it up a little bit. There's real there's no such thing, because yeah. we're here to celebrate you, your lyrics, <laughs> well, right. and your melodies. It. I appreciate it, definitely. Okay, living on a whirlwind. It's uh, exactly what the title's just you know. Seems like uh, you try to do things right and just. Um, Mm -hmm. Things don't quite work out that way, you know. Mm. Just your uh, sometimes your uh, what would you say your um, better laid plans, better laid plans, but also your uh, intentions could be not noble. Sometimes you know you can you try to do the right thing, but you just mess up. <laughs> sometimes that's it. Human nature takes exactly. over. That was. <laughs> So, it's called Living on the Whirlwind. Yes, I've caused some trouble and I've caused some pain. When the day brings sunshine, now I bring rain, don't you? 
alone Living on that whirlwind When I break those walls down now I can see there's a place of comfort now Calling for me but then I go Out and time to think in the calmest waters now. I just sink, look out below. Living on that whirlwind. When I get that lifeline thrown out to me, well, I seem to find a way to drift out to sea. There I go. Living on that whirlwind. I can go that road alone, I'll take that narrow road of peace. I've been tempted by a fallen angel, shaken by the light. Darkness is a living town without a fight. I'm twisting in the whirlwind, and something isn't right, cause all I do spin, spin, spin. Here on GZR Ground Zero Radio, pleasure, absolute pleasure having you in the studio tonight. You can't go yet, though, (laughs) (laughs) because we absolutely love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So what do you have planned for the next month or two? Do you have any gigs lined up? I do. I'm playing uh, at the uh, Songwriters Round at Neat Coffee on the first. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And then the Orange County Fair on the 6th. Oh, oh good. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, played there. It's been fun. It's fun. You play at the Meadow Stage, 3 o'clock in the afternoon on the 6th. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else really lined up, you know. Grandpa's busy. Well, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So the yeah. OC Fair, is that going to be a solo gig or yeah. are you doing a band thing? Okay. Yeah. Are you doing any more work with Dan Krikorian? You know what? I, well, in a way, yes. You know, he has that basketball podcast called Slapping Glass. And I actually do the first edit for him. Oh. And get it prepared so that he does his magic and whatnot. So I take all the, uh, eh, uh, yeah, mm, sneeze. Yeah, yeah, sneezes, whatnot. But yeah, no, he and I, but music wise, you know, it, the last time we played was at the den. And yep. um, so, yeah. So, yeah, he's just, he's just a busy dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. both of you are. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad to. I'm, I'm, well, I mean, of course, you guys are still working together, so that's awesome. Mm. Um, and let's see, so do you have a projected date maybe for your next album release or mm. just seeing how it goes? <laughs> yeah. You know, it would be nice to get something done before the end of the year, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I, I need to focus. Like I said, I was when I was in here last time, you know, really need to do it, Mike. Yeah, you do. So. Yeah, but you know what? It's really smart though, playing them, playing these new songs out, and really flush, yeah. flushing them out. It really is better because yeah. 
if you rush to the studio and get them recorded, then later you're thinking, why yeah. didn't I take, take a the one of da da da? Yeah. Why did I do that? And getting feedback too is good too. Yeah. So it's just, um, yeah. which is always good. So it really, it's good that you give yourself time for these mm-hmm. songs to mature yeah. into their into their yeah. own beautiful yep. artwork. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So it's fun. Yep. So let me see. Uh, you and where you are, I know that you're in Orange County, mm-hmm. right? Huntington Beach. Yeah. Awesome. And let's see. The, you're going to be playing at the Songwriter Round at right. Neat Coffee on the first, August first. August first. Yeah. I'm going to mark that on my calendar. Yeah. I'm not sure what sh- if I'm going in the first, first or section, second round. Or the second round. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Okay. So, yeah. All right, and um, yeah, that's been a, a really good turnout over there. They really, it, yeah. yeah, they've done a nice job with moving it out to like the back porch area. I saw the stage, yeah, that's a, a great idea. Lighting, yeah. yeah, and they have a food truck out front, yeah, and making some great like you know carne asada tacos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes me happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, nothing like a taco, right? Make a smile. I know. They're kind of in the shape it? of a smile too, yeah. aren't they? They yeah. are. Yeah. It's a one big smile. Yeah. <laughs> and where it's so much better than what I can make at home. Yeah. Every time I try at home, it's like, eh. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. So, yeah. Great job they've been doing over there. That is Ron Maximi. That's mm-hmm. been hosting those, um, doing the Writer's Round OC. And I see that they've increased their um, events. So, it's not just one time a month now. It's like two, three, mm-hmm. almost it's almost every week. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Bravo. Excellent job, Ron, Maximi. And, um, you know, that's how much talent there is in Orange County mm-hmm. eager to play mm-hmm. and share their songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't yeah. have a problem filling the No, it's, it's roster. great. Yeah, we need, yeah, we just need more places like that. Right. You know, to, for songwriters can, uh, listening places. Yes. There's just not that many. So there is, of course, there is the Tuesday nights um, a few times a month at Campus Jacks, mm-hmm. hosted by Kayla Kramer. Yeah, Kayla. And mm-hmm. also um, over at the Harp Inn, mm-hmm. now there's a once a, mo- once a month Saturday songwriter showcase. Nice. Starts at 3 p.m. on Saturdays. Three or four? I think it's three. Um, hosted by Coyote Moon. Mm. So that's another one. So that's three in the area. Um, there's also some stuff going on at OC Hit hmm. right here in Orange County. Um, they used to be in Tustin, but they moved, they moved a little further south here, closer to Costa Mesa. And they're doing some interesting stuff. For example, they took a group of local songwriters to the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville. Love it. Wow. So that's a fourth one to hook up with um yeah so very nice things are things are looking up uh for uh songwriter events here in orange county yeah so i've never been to one of those but i've always been curious because i'm pretty good with music so you know so don't do you not walk out of there going well there's a hit there's a hit there's another hit Mm -hmm. there's like i just heard like sometimes no because I mean, I've heard like several tunes out of you and other guests we've had here, which is holy smokes. I mean, that's what we're always talking about is the the how much talent there is here right underneath our nose, you yeah, know. Yeah. And yeah. it's hard to hear when there's no outlet for it no. other than this, right. you know. Yeah, this is a love that you know. And Kayla's been doing this for a while. Yes, and you guys have gotten involved, and it's awesome. Yeah, we're we're very yeah. happy to be here, and yeah. we just we've learned ourselves. Yeah, you know, we're rock guys, right? You know, so yep. <laughs> this has kind of taken, uh, given us a whole new view on everything. Yep. Yeah, there's all these songwriters and yeah. various genres. Yeah, um, you know, working it, getting out, writing the lyrics, writing the melodies, putting out their EPs or CDs, mm-hmm. and. Um, yeah, I'm glad to see there's more things happening in Orange County specifically for songwriters, and I hope that it keeps growing. And here in during our news segment here on GZR with Mike Karen handling the news, um, I I would love to just see that list grow and grow and grow. Mm-hmm. Say, you know, 
pick where you're going to play. Mm, yeah, yeah. If I had if I had a lot of money, there's I have a very good idea for a, a venue, and uh, but I don't have a lot of money. So, <laughs> well, we have put it out into the universe. We are we made this statement the other day, right, guys? Yeah, right. That we're going to l- win the lottery. Okay. So we, oh, we yeah yeah we actually we meant to tell you that that's probably tonight because we got a ticket. And oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. It might Therefore, be tonight. we shall win. <laughs> We're trying to put the energy out there in the universe because we'd yeah. love for exactly something like that to happen mm-hmm. with like-minded people yeah. um, to make something like Blue that happen. Bluebird West. Bluebird West. Bluebird yeah. West. I've been thinking about that for a long time. Exactamundo. Wow. So I have the idea. I've got the whole layout in my head, and yeah, it's all ready to go. Nice. See? Mm-hmm. Cool. The plans are the plans are in place. I, be, I better start writing. Yeah. Hit, hit the lotto. <laughs> keep writing. I'll keep writing. Mike, you need to write with us. And uh, <clears throat> Daddy, dance with me. Yeah, this is the one I wrote. Uh, we were talking about this is the one I just wrote two weeks ago today, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's a fairly quick song because it's for a daddy daughter dance. Yeah. And my cousin had asked, would you sing a song? I said, sure. And then I sent her, hung up with her, wrote down the words. I said, would this be okay? And she sent back with the emoji tears. And we were talking about emojis yeah. earlier. And so um, then, but I, I, he was a big Moody Blues fan, so I kind of geared it toward him. But um, I changed it a little bit to make it a little more generalized for the public. So, okay. So anyway, let's go. Daddy, dance with me. For those that... Uh, do daddy daughter dance if you need one <laughs> this is it you've always been a provider you've always been a rock when my heart has been broken we could sit and talk I would count on you for love With your hand to guide my way There's one more thing I'll ask of you today Daddy, will you take my hand one more time And dance with your little girl To celebrate the vows I made today And of all the memories I'll cherish just know it's true Daddy It's dancing here with you I know your love for all things Christmas And fishing in the sea Country music is your soundtrack The gospel brings you to your knees I know that you love Mama Forever and a day There's one more thing that I would like to say Daddy, will you take my hand one more time And dance with your little girl To celebrate the vows I made today And of all the memories I'll cherish Just know it's true Daddy, it's dancing here with you We'll float around the dance floor Friends and family near And one more spin before I have to go Daddy, will you take my hand one more time And dance with your little girl To celebrate the vows I made today And of all the memories I'll cherish Just know it's true Daddy, it's dancing here with you. Daddy, it's dancing here with you. Wonderful, beautiful song. Well done. Another great one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Fantastic. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, 
I was uh, listening to the chords you're playing, and it made me uh, re- reminded me of something that you mentioned earlier about being a grandfather, mm. and and how kids make such an impact in your life. Huge. And um, I'm my my I have two boys, and they're in their twenties now. But uh, when they were little, they uh, they had no idea I even was a musician much. I you know my whole thing was just playing Wiggles tunes, right. you know. Oh. The Wiggles, right? I love so they the always saw me playing Wiggles. I had no idea because I pretty much took a long vacation from music as far as writing and things like that. Mm. But uh, finally, they got a chance to see me like really play, and that was just a big moment for them, right? You know, that's pretty. Cool. But you know, that's the thing about kids and in, in music. You know, they mm. they hear it. Mm-hmm. You know, they're really in tune to it. Yeah, so that's a beautiful song you wrote. Thank you. Appreciate Very it. nice. Appreciate it. So oh, beautiful song. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, beautiful song, Mike, of course. So touching. Yep. Um, wait for the light. You have time for that? We, t- we oh, have yeah. time for you, my friend. <laughs> yes, we have time. Well, this is, um, this is kind of a little heavier because it's, it kind of deals with, um, uh, and it, from a woman's point of view, a mother, wife, and the pressures, and uh, dealing with um, uh, kind of a depression kind of thing, and how to come out of it, and having a friend or God in your life to help you get through that, and and, and that light. But um, that's that's basically what it, you know what it's about. So and this is a co-write with my friend T.J. Clay. Fantastic harmonic harmonica player just one of the best i've ever heard uh many years nashville guy and uh, played in a uh, band and i cannot think of the band you're gonna be so mad tj i know <laughs> um but anyway so this is called wait for the light See the lines on her face where she used to smile Now she's lost in a place Gone for days in her mind Miles away Back in the day when her dream was so easy Life was a song and a dance Now it's simply a chore Life demands so much more You don't want the world You're not here to complain But some days you feel like a ball on a chain When that darkness comes along You need someone to be by your side While you wait for the light She's got a man that she loves and her children adore her But she can't seem to get through the day Without thinking she's failed them all It's another wall She has all the questions without all the answers She throws out the clues But she never mentions there's something wrong She wants to be strong You don't want the world, you're not here to complain But some days you feel like a ball on a chain When that darkness comes along You need someone to be by your side While you wait for the light Falling apart You can't seem to find your cornerstone But all through the ruins and all through the pain You're not alone La 
You don't want the world, you're not here to complain But some days you feel like a ball on a chain When that darkness comes along You need someone to be by your side While you wait for the light la da da Magic there. <laughs> again, again with the chord changes right yeah, there, Dan. Yeah, it's beautiful. And I am so happy to hear you do the la-da-da, because I was <laughs> thinking that in my head. Perfect. Good. Good. Um, oh, Mike Teague, you're so, you're an excellent songwriter. You really are. I appreciate it. And you just, you have this vibe that just makes me want to chill. <laughs> and it, no matter what the subject is. Like you're even talking about kind of something heavy in that last song. Mm, yeah, but, but with a positive. That's like that's try to make the key is try to bring a positive in that dark. You know, <laughs> you're doing exactly yeah. that, and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you yeah, so thank much. You. You're awesome, yeah, yeah. Thank you Mike Teague Incredible. in the house, people. Thank yes, you. here on Ground Zero Radio, Mike Teague. Thank you so much. We are gonna share a couple songs off of your Waterfall album. If you'd like. We are. We, we've got them queued up. <laughs> okay. And thank you so much. And come back and see us any, any time. Love to. Just let me know. Please let me know when you do decide to release that next album. Will do. Yeah, will do. Perfect. We'll do an album release party here on GZR. Absolutely. That would be cool. Mike Teague, thank you very much. Thank you. All your kindness runs away Your sunny disposition Will turn to shades of gray And I never know Just who I'm talking to Hinder by the heartache I can't help but be confused Don't know if you really love me Or if I'm
sun is shining, smiling down my way. A little rainbow colors up my day. The waves are crashing on the tropical shore. Your goodbye kisses, oh, they mean so much more. I feel so lonely when I shut the door. Without you.